develop a passion for learning if you do you will never cease to grow so hello and welcome i'm your host dr ruby gill and i feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all on the behalf of lovely professional university so attendees you might be wondering the reason of gathering virtually so let me reveal the reason to you we are here to witness an incredible session on the topic techniques of retention of learning so before we commence allow me to introduce the experts of the day dr nimisha berry professor head school of education lovely professional university an intellectual personality with more than 20 years of experience in the field of teaching she has been awarded more than 10 times in education field itself she has organized numerous national and international conferences and has more than 100 papers published under her name she has she also has published her own book and has a keen member of indian science congress association and recently in 2021 she has been awarded with lifetime achievement award by novel research academy so ma'am we are thrilled to have you on board with us today thank you so much for joining us thank you ma'am with equal pleasure i would like to welcome dr siddhi sood assistant professor school of education lovely professional university she has an experience of more than 11 years in academics and has pursued her phd in focused area in education for children with intellectual disabilities she has 15 research publications in her profile including journal publications chapters in edited books and slm for ig and ou she is associated with all india educational research and international association of special education as well she has received an honor of excellence for the meritorious public service awarded by loins club of indore she aspires to make a change in the society by contributing education in the society so ma'am thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for giving us your valuable time thank you ma'am further we have with us our admission nominee dr chirag sharma assistant professor school of computer science and engineering lovely professional university a young and visionary leader with an experience of more than 12 years as an academician he continues to push the boundaries of the education with extra co curricular activities through his ground breaking commitment to outreach to his credit he has more than 45 research publications in in refereed journals of national and international repute and today he will be discussing about the admission part of the university and the other highlights of the university as well so sir thank you so much for joining us so with this we'll begin our today's webinar so over to you ma'am and looking forward for a great interactive session thank you so much ma'am uh Good morning, one and all present here. So today we are going to talk about techniques of retention of learning. Whenever we talk about education, whenever we talk about learning, uh, this is the very important thing when we talk about how to retain the information. It can be the various techniques which can be used to retain the learning which we have learned, the information that we have gathered. So today we are going to explore this topic in our this session. so whenever we talk about learning retention the first question in our mind would be what is learning retention so let's talk about that learning retention is the process of transferring the new information into long term memory this means you are effectively taken in the information and are able to recall it in the future without retaining what you have learned it will leave your short term memory after a certain amount of time has passed there are many factors that affect retention these factors include interest connections thinking motivation mental capacity and attention all these factors affect our retention of learning explore this particular skill then we need to know how learn how to learn how can we learn so you might be having the visual or the tactile or the auditory or the kinesthetic style of learning 
the style of learning you will be having is going to help you to retain the information in much better manner. Whenever school text scores have risen to 50% when students are taught to their students. So it is very important that you need to understand that what are your students. You need to understand that what uh, strengths you can use to retain your learning. Let's move further. We have one more interesting thing that is the learning pyramid. This learning pyramid is reflecting you that the kind of style that you are picking, the kind of style that is being used during, during teaching learning process, what percentage of retention that style exhibits. For example, if you are having a lecture kind of a style in your teaching learning process, the retention rate is 5%. If you read whatever you information you have listened to, then the retention will increase to 10%. Along with that, if you are having some audio or visual aids used inside the classroom, the retention rate will increase to 20%. Furthermore, if you are having the demonstration or some discussion group, your retention rate can reach in between 30% to 50%. But you know, when you practice by doing, very simple, learning by doing, your retention rate can reach up to 75%. And you can learn up to 90% when we talk about teach others. What you have learned, if you are teaching others, you are going to learn much better. We are going to talk about this in the further slides also. So let's start with the techniques of improving the learning retention. The very first technique in this category is focus your attention. Nowadays, it has been observed that the students are having different focus. They want to excel in each and every field, but it is going to distract you from your main focus. Secondly, when you are uh, dissecting your focus into many goals, then again, you won't be able to retain the information which is required for the ultimate goal of your life. So focus your attention. A very good quote is there for this particular technique. A gentle focus of attention is all it takes to free the body of minor imbalances. Let's proceed further with another set of technique. It is study regularly. regularly. As you can see, Mahatma Gandhi had also inspired us by saying, live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever. So when you study well, when you study regularly, when you work both hard and smart to clear your exams, you are improving your retention of information. Let's proceed further. We are having the next technique that is analyze. We usually believe in having lots of information we have many knowledge, many points that we uh, want to retain in our life, but we hardly reach up to the higher level of thinking. That is analyzing the information. As you can see that get the habit of analysis. Analysis will in time enable synthesis to become your habit of mind. When you have this habit of analyzing the things, you will be able to summarize the things in a more appropriate manner and I think much quickly. For this, the Dalai Lama has also quoted, the ultimate authority must always rest with the individual's own reason and critical analysis. More you are going to provoke your thinking process, more you are going to analyze the problems, the better solution you are going to have. And obviously, because you are including your thinking process, you are going to retain that information everlasting. Let's proceed further. We are having a very important thing that is stop cramming. 
there is a big difference between cramming things and understanding them. As per William Sibolje, one of the two can't apply the knowledge. And that's what Albert Einstein has also quoted, that one had to cram all this stuff into one's mind for the examination, whether one liked it or not. The coercion had such a deterring effect on me that after I had passed the final examination, I found the consideration of any specific problems distasteful to me for an entire year. For an entire year, that genius wasn't able to concentrate on the best things. So avoid cramming. If we proceed further, then we have making the organized notes. It is very important thing. Nowadays, it is really being observed that inside the classroom, the students really avoid of taking the notes, especially during the online classroom sessions in the past two years, the students really have lost this habit of taking the notes. And it has hampered their learning, the retention of their learning, because they just listen to the things and they forgot. By the time they are not having the practice of writing the things. And that is the reason when they have started visiting their physical class classrooms, this habit was nowhere. And they found it really difficult to uh, write the things which they are listening. And inside the classroom, they usually then asked demanding that what should be readily available. But by taking organized notes, you will be able to retain your information, to retain your learning for much longer period because you are involving yourself in that. As for Richard Branson, acquiring the habit of note taking is therefore a wonderful complementary skill to that of listening. In addition to this, we are having one more expert advice saying, you can see that there is a scarcely an observable fact unworthy of mention in your notes. And yet you could easily spend more time scribbling than watching and that would defeat the purpose. So be selective, don't be compulsive and enjoy your note taking. So be very organized in taking your notes. Explain and practice. Practice does not make perfect, only perfect practice makes perfect according to one's Lombardi. So when you explain something, then practice it, apply it. When you practice it again and again and again, it is going to occupy your, the space in your brain and you are going to retain that learning. So according to Albert Einstein, once again, we are having in theory, theory and practice are the same. In practice, they are not, because now you have started applying your theory. Furthermore, we have apply and associate. Now there is a step further. You have practiced and practiced and practiced. You have applied, but have you associated? If you are not associating your applied learning which you have there inside the classroom to the outside real world. If you have not associated it with the real world, you won't be able to connect your learned thing, learned information to the outside world, to the society. So, and honestly, we are having apply what you have learned and associate it with real life events. Bruce Lee, I think we all know this particular guy. Bruce Lee has, has said, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. So us apply the information and associating it with the real world is going to help us in retaining the information for a longer duration. Moving further, we need to proceed bit by bit and frequently. What can be the best tips to avoid or to fight the overloaded information? These include make to-do plans easily available in our today's smartphones. Unplug regularly. You need to recharge your battery. 
filter the information you consume. Filter it. Which information is worth useful to keep it in our memory? And which is not just extract that out. Save emails, articles, and small tasks for later, which are not useful at that particular time. Stop learning compulsively. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't force yourself. Don't be very compulsive. Just relax and enjoy the learning phase. Limit undesired arguments in talks. Because when you speak, your most of the energy is consumed. So save your energy for the best part. So do not overload your brain with information. Do it bit by bit. And so you will need to do it more. Have one more thing that is creating mnemonic devices. Uh, I think we all know about the uh, many of the things wherein we used to learn only about the first alphabet of the bigger words, and we need to understand this through for the whole process. Very simple example from our childhood: Wibgyo. We know what Wibgyo is about and with what it is related to. So it tells you the name of every color by using the first alphabet of that particular color and telling you that these are the colors of rainbow. That is the use of mnemonic device. So to retain your learning, if there is some complex information that you are not able to uh, rem remember for long or you are not able to get that information, then you can use this mnemonic device of your own. It can be very subjective too. So acquiring the habit of note taking is therefore a wonderful complementary skill to that of listening. Again, Richard Branson has said so, and Peter Davison has related this mnemonic device to poetry. Poetry was invented as a mnemonic device to enable people to remember their poems. So now moving further, uh, retaining the information, learning retention, to improve it, we require to be a good, in a good state of health, physically and mentally both. So health, it is the greatest gift, contentment and the greatest wealth, faithfulness, the best relationship. What you can do to have a good health? So there are some tips. Very first thing, exercise. I think we all have heard about this thing with every single mouth that you need to exercise daily. At least if you are not able to spare 30 to 40 minutes, you at least spare 10 minutes for regular exercise to keep your body and brain active. You can use the controlled diet. Get your diet controlled. If you are taking three meals a day, you can divide it into five meals. Just take small meals at a time, and this will help your body to remain active because your body will not engage itself completely with the over diet to digest that. So you will be able to get or you will be able to feel more energetic by having the controlled diet, by having the balanced diet. Furthermore, we have in the tip of meditation. Give yourself some time especially while going to your bed. You can give yourself the time of introspection. Meditate, think deeply, recall all the things that have happened in your day. What were those things? What was the, that time that you have invested and the time that you have wasted? Then think it over once again, how you can improve your next day. Meditate, calm yourself down, talk to yourself, and you are going to be more energetic the very next day. The next morning will be more beautiful. Adding to that, take a good sleep. So before the morning, you need to have that good sleep. Benefits of good sleep uh, can be reduced focus on negative things, better concentration, helps you make better decision, aids creativity, stronger immune system, and yes, better memory. And better memory is very much necessary for retaining the learning. 
then you need to invest in your hobby. It is again going to fresh your, refresh your mind every now and then. By investing in your memory, you are not going to waste your time. So you can refresh yourself, re-energize yourself every day. At least decide one particular time for your one hobby in a day. Listen to calm music to soothe yourself down, to relieve your everyday stress, listen to this calm music. When you are going to listen to that calm music, you are going to enjoy the things every now and then. So that is what very much needed to retain the information for learning retention. And these are the different techniques that can help you in improving your retention. With that, I would like to hand over the next session to Dr. Nimisha Bey. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Sidi. Uh, let me present. Can share your screen. Hello. Yes, I am sharing. I uh, just a minute, madam. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Siddhi. Uh, further continuing that. Now, Dr. Siddhi has talked about so many techniques which you can use for retaining what you are learning. And there is a common saying by Samuel Johnson that we owe to memory not only the increase of our knowledge and our progress in rational inquiries, but for many other intellectual treasures. Yeah. It is not only that we want to learn or we want to retain so that our knowledge is retained. It is very much required in our life to reach our goal. And for reaching our goal, obviously, we need retention because retention strengthens the knowledge and skills and support application of knowledge and skills. But apart from that, it also encourages achievement of results and programs or organizational goals. Like when you exercise, your muscles are strengthened. In the same way, when you exercise your mind, you use it again and again to retain the things. Your muscular mind is strengthened. And once your muscular mind is strengthened, obviously, you will be able to use it in your career goals. There will be a successful learning and your performance outcomes will be very, very, very uh, nicely achieved in your life. So in terms of what we are doing at School of Education, in terms of making our students retain these things and achieve their performance goal, achieve their career goal. We are also using all these strategies which Dr. Siddhi has talked about, like our students are teaching others so that they can learn and they can retain the information for a longer period. As it is very commonly said that you learn the things we focus on because as we know that please let me share my screen yeah. Nishma, i believe there is some kind of internet lag at your end uh, I'm I'm able to see the screen and my laptop is showing that the screen is shared. Yes, yes. Now it is, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay. So basically, when we talk about that, what we are doing in terms of making our students achieve their career goals by retaining what they are learning, by retaining whatever is given to them in terms of knowledge, obviously, technology makes you enhance your knowledge and make it better into you, settle better, better into your mind. So we focus on technology to make them industry ready for e-learning industry. We give exposure to software for research and school management so that their learning becomes handy. They are able to get it practice again and again. Like Dr. Siddiq talked about, practice makes perfect. So we give number of training sessions to our students to make them prepare for different eligibility exams, may it be center eligibility exams or state eligibility exams. Obviously, 
analyzing is one of the other aspect for retaining and analysis our students are practicing by publishing number of research publications in reputed journals focus index journals which is a regular practice in school of education as very well we know that commitment to learning and retention of what is learned is leading our students to grow in their career which can be seen through uh, certain examples which i want to put here like you can see the graph that how the outcome of retention and learning school of education lpu is helping the students from year 2018 where the graph of success for the seated qualifying exam was 43 this year our students has reached the success graph of 90% where the all india ratio for qualifying seated exam is 29.4 the success rate of school of education students is 90% so this is all because of the activities which we are making our students practice for retaining the knowledge which they are having there are certain glimpses of the students who have qualified seated exam in 22 23 21 you may be finding one or two near your uh, area or in your schools it is 18 19 not only seated exams our students are also qualifying ugc net exams because our pg students med bed med they move into the university world so again the uh, rigorous practice and number of analytical exercises learning by doing make them learn the things retain the things and that is leading to the success graph in terms of qualifying all these competitive exams which are very very important for becoming a teacher not only qualifying the exams our students are getting better placements they are able to qualify rigorous interviews which are given by the industry and number of academic sectors they are able to please the recruiters by their skills by the knowledge which they are having these are the glimpses of our students who are working in tech companies two of our students have got selected for attending summer school in stellenbosch university south africa again they went with a rigorous interview and because of their knowledge which they had learned here because of all these techniques which we had practiced they were able to showcase their knowledge skills to the university these are some of the placement schools where you can see all the top recruiters of india are here to recruit the students of school of education to name some like vedantu byju ivy world topper academy textbook academy cambridge gd goenka dps these are some of the schools which are recruiting our students on a very good package these are some of the glimpses of the students who had placed in this year they had been placed in shri krishna pranami mercer metal it is a, a psychometric development company then elite biotech dps safran Uh, it is ips academy dps james cambridge and that too with a very very good package in the academic world our students are also working in the international schools means the knowledge which they are getting which they are retaining is not helping them only to serve in india they are moving abroad with that knowledge skill set this is one of the glimpses of our student who is working as a special education teacher at surrey school in british columbia canada these are some of the workers who are working as tgt pgt our previous students our alumni who had bring laurels to the school of education not only this our students had been selected in number of government sectors they are working as government employees in number of schools like navodaya vidyalaya the government schools of punjab the universities and they are performing very very nicely there because of the knowledge and the skill set they are having the students who have done the pg from here are working as assistant professor in many of the reputed universities all over india these are the glimpses of our students not only from india we have the students from other part of the world and they are working as principals after qualifying their degrees from school of education so this is all because of the practice which we give in terms of learning and retaining that knowledge for a longer period these are the students who are working as principals in india and not only placement the retention activities 
the skill set the knowledge which we are imparting help the students to work in schools during their internship as well as with paid honorarium they get paid internships where they go for the training but they are getting honorarium from the school which generally doesn't happens in the schools but our students are getting that paid internship see the impact of retention and the knowledge which they carry on in their life and after being graduated in the job also our students are getting success in terms of like you can see best teacher award has been won by sushma kandan in by district administration rajouri he is dr mazid sadiq he has also got the best teacher award by university of kashmir jaspal singh has got young teacher state award by punjab government so in the last i could only say let's learn retain and have a good start because no one can ever take your memories from you whatever you learn whatever you retain that retains with you so each day is the new beginning make good memories every day retain what you learn decide well have a good start and obviously success will be with you thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you for your uh, and of course siddhi ma'am thank you so much for insightful informative and impactful presentation your expertise and knowledge in this field is evident from the quality of discussion we had today and your insights and perspectives provided valuable information to attendees and helped to deepen their understanding towards this topic so thank you so much ma'am so uh, ma'am before we move on uh, we have few queries from the attendees so can we take up those queries sure all right so ma'am there one attendee wants to know that does learning is always correlated with happiness or they can be discussed separately so what's see, your take on yeah. this one? see once you learn and obviously the purposeful learning which you are having will always lead to happiness because once you set your goal you have a purpose and you learn according to that goal so obviously that learning will help you in your future and that will always bring a happiness to you so obviously always a purposeful learning is always associated with happiness in one sort or another absolutely i completely agree with you on this ma'am uh, okay ma'am we'll quickly take another query and that is that what are the advancements in education field that lpu students have made uh, in terms of advancements if i talk about in education field it is not only as i discussed during the presentation qualifying central level test with a very very high percentage in terms of the university as compared to the national average like i talked about that national average of seated this year is 29.4 and the average students who are qualifying seated in our university is 90% yesterday only ugc net result has been declared and all the students who appeared for the ugc net has qualified ugc net then our students are not only getting job in schools they are getting jobs as instructional designer as a content writer as a test maker in different tech companies they are also moving abroad like i talked about our students had been selected for the exchange which generally doesn't happen in education department our students are going on exchange program to other universities thank you thank you so much ma'am and that is wonderful to hear that our alumni they are reaching so much uh, greater positions to the skies so thank you so much ma'am uh, ma'am we'll take up last but not the least query so as you were talking about ctet and ugc net so the query is related to that that will our lpu faculty will prepare the student for the same for all the competitive exams yeah obviously ma'am our curriculum is entirely mapped with all these competitive exams and we give a rigorous practice on the pattern of examination like ctet and ugc net are all mcq based tests so the faculty here not only teach the students but they have different practice sessions where the students are practicing in a same pattern all questions which are there the level of questions is also same and that is why you can see the success rate which is coming up absolutely thank you so much ma'am thank you so much for resolving thank all you. the queries of our attendees
and now we have few queries from the admission part that how to uh, reach us how to approach for the admissions and what all are the scholarship we offer so for that we have our expert dr chirag with us so over to you sir kindly navigate the students through the admission process and other highlights of the university Dr. Jarak, can we have you uh, I, on the board? I, I hope I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are. Okay, so I'm just sharing my screen for the moment. Uh, regarding uh, the course only that I'll be explaining and some parts. One second. Uh, Chirak sir, can you please adjust your screen as we are unable to see you properly? All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good to go, sir. Uh, so I'm just uh, sharing some of the highlights of the university only. So as you can see in the very first slide uh, that uh, LPU has various uh, students who are represented in India in uh, Toking Olympics 2020, where we have uh, Neera Chopra who has won gold medal, individual gold medal came after 13 years as such and uh, LPU has actually done very good in Kelo India Games 2022 with a bad runner-up trophy as well. So we had uh, various LPU University uh, students who have actually been working in as, L, uh, as at LPU alumni in MNCs across US, Canada and, uh, and UK. Uh, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. So can you please put on the presentation on full screen mode? Oh, for sure. sure. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So is it good to go? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, so our Dr. Ashok Kumar Mittal, sir, who's actually being uh, our chancellor and uh, he has made a historic address at uh, the House of Lords, British Parliament, uh, London. So that was one of the defining moments of our university. So with the rankings, uh, LPU has been ranked amongst 23rd uh, in World University Rankings 2023, been ranked 47th as per Ministry of Education, Government of India, among all the private and government un uh, universities in India. Uh, Ministry of, uh, as per the ranking, has uh, given us 13th rank in the School of Law, as well as 12th rank in School of Architecture and Design, 19th uh, in School of Pharmacy, uh, ranks 51st as, as, in, as engineering, along with 34th in the Master of Business. So as for the rankings of Times uh, Impact Ranking, Times Higher, Higher Education Ranking, we have been ranked 74th globally as well. So LPU has been ranked a third uh, as per the Innovation Achievement Awards as well. So campus life, so we, we have conducted various events such as Indian Science Congress, which was one of the uh, one of the biggest events that we conducted in 2019. We were the only private university at that time conducted that uh, big of a conference. Uh, so our, we have been visited by various uh, important delegates uh, over here with various, various presidents also. Uh, we have uh, Shri uh, Arun Kumar Jethi, sir, who has actually started our uh, LPU Startup School. Uh, we have been given life lessons as well as uh, movie stars have also visited us, uh, cricket stars, movie stars. Everyone they have visited and they have explored and given the vibrance to the campus as such. The infrastructure wise, we have four story building of uh, library, which has a set of more than 10,000 books as such. Along with that, in, in infrastructure wise, this is one of the biggest uh, the, auditoriums, outdoor auditoriums we have, which is connected with various blocks all together. Uh, so which has a capacity of more than 3000 and we have the indoor uh, indoor uh, stadiums as well. And then we have uh, indoor auditoriums as well. And uh, we have nine story building of uh, uni mall. There's a mall inside the university also. And uh, super bowling uh, is also available there. We have an indoor gym as well. Apart from that, we do have the uh, uni hospital, which is a primary need in this time of the world. So, and since I told about indoor auditor, uh, indoor indoor stadium, so we, uh, because we have been doing pretty good in Kelo India Games, thanks to the infrastructure that we have. Uh, and the infrastructure uh, is uh, entirely pretty uh, good uh, in terms of whether it is a, a stadium, uh, uh, 
swimming stadium all together then we have various basketball courts uh, shooting ranges and cricket stadium so on this is the night view of the campus so that was uh, regarding the campus uh, uh, tour that i wanted to give but uh, the, the important point is uh, that uh, we have been uh, uh, we have been getting good results not only in uh, sports uh, academics also uh, so i'll keep the highlights of uh, the education uh, education field all together so just give me a moment uh, so i'll discuss regarding the fee scholarship structures of education course yeah so i'm sharing my screen for the same so all you need to do is i hope my screen is visible to all yes sir yeah so we have uh, if if you want to uh, basically enroll in various courses so you have one site which is nest.lpu.in you have to click that site the slide will open and over there uh, you have to uh, go with the education education course so as you can see in education course we have various courses such as integrated ba bed uh, integrated bsc bed bed mat course so whatever course that you want to uh, enroll you just have to select that let's say i'm selecting bed course as such so the moment i select bed course uh, there are many many information that are uh, given over here whether it is eligibility syllabus question pattern how to apply fee and scholarship important dates so let's go with uh, the eligibility part the moment i select that eligibility option uh, over here uh, we have been given various courses whether it is b ed bachelor of library sciences if let's say i select b ed since i selected that course only so by default certain information uh, tabs uh, will be visible to us so just a minute uh, you can see over here uh, with the b ed course uh, uh, we have program details and there is an eligibility criteria since we selected the eligibility part in the previous tab so the eligibility says it's 50% of the aggregate marks in bachelor degree or master degree master degree in sciences or social sciences or humanities or commerce so in this case if you have any kind of doubt uh, that whether you are eligible in this particular course if you have done masters or bachelors you need to send the the your transcripts to our official email id which is admissions at the rate of lpu.co.in so we do give a relaxation to sc and st as well as bc candidates so uh, uh, if i have to go with the fee structure of this particular course you just need to select this fee structure by default this option will be given to you the uh, fees of this is 30000 every semester along with uh, 4000 as uh, examination fees so uh, we give uh, there are many many modes of payment that uh, we can go with so you can see the various modes of payment and uh, if you want to apply or you want to know important dates you just need to select important dates just check uh, select we have already started our registrations from 1st of february onwards and if you know want you wanted to know how to apply you just need to select how to apply there is an option of uh, sign up the moment you sign up for the application next next things our team will get in touch with you and there is an option of apply now you can select apply now you have to register with your name email id phone number state as well as the moment you select to register now our team will uh, call you and obviously they will direct you uh, for further queries so that's it from my side if there is any doubt i can i can help thank you so much sir thank you for uh, telling the students assisting the students to how to approach the university for the admissions what is the process and how they can enroll to their favorite program so thank you so much sir and sir you have briefed brilliantly so i don't believe any question we have regarding the admission thank process you. thank you very very thank much thank you so much sir okay so sir ma'am with your permission can we wrap up today's webinar if uh, you need not to add anything to this uh ma'am you are on mute ma'am kindly unmute yourself ma'am i'm seeing if participants doesn't have any query so we can surely all right thank you so much ma'am so attendees that's all for the day my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for attending this webinar on the topic 
techniques of improving retention of learning. So your presence, participation and support was instrumental in making this webinar a grand success. And experts, thank you so much. You have brought valuable insights and expertise to the table. And your presentation was uh, presentation and discussion were both informative and engaging. And attendees, we look forward to host such more webinars in the future. And for that, keep a check on our website that is www.lpu.in. So until next time, I, Ruby, will finally sign off the session. Thank you, everyone. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.